Orleans. What's the crack? Yeah. How are you? <laughs> My name is Chloe Marks. I am 19 years old and I come from a beautiful little village called Mullaban in the county of Armagh. <laughs> Something that was taught to me as a child was to show compassion and mercy towards others. I grew up within a nationalist Catholic community and went to Mass every Sunday morning. Yet, in my late teens, all I could see and feel was hostility, division, and none of those faith values I was taught by my mother and father. When moving to Belfast for university, I saw walls dividing communities, murals displaying paramilitaries, and experienced prejudice from people seeking to know where I came from so they could label me as a threat or an ally. I saw a broken society. And the one thing I couldn't see was a working government and the leadership to tackle this division and sense of hopelessness. And we still have a long way to go. We desperately need leadership who are not afraid to tackle injustice, inequalities, and who can work together. As a young leader who is passionate about progression and compassion in the world, my heart and soul said I accept this no more. No more will I watch young people slip through the cracks of this society with educational underachievement, inequalities and an identity crisis. No more will I let education divide me on a religious bias. No more will I have housing that segregates or walls that divide. No more will I stay silent. The Irish government have recently recruited young people to a shared island to be formed. The purpose of this forum is to listen to the voice of 80 young people from across the four corners of the island to draft a review paper and for the forum to influence policy making decisions. I am lucky enough to be on this forum and it is a start. But we don't just want our words written down, we want a seat at the table. <laughs> regardless of race, religion, or background. Young people, even at the age of 16, must get the chance to vote and influence the decisions that shape this country. The Good Friday Agreement was a moment in history. But if we want a lasting peace for the next 25 years and for the next generation, we must involve our young people. We are the innovators, change makers, and the creative voice for a new way of living in a diverse country. We will awaken hope. On Monday night, I was inspired by the Queen of Jordan, who shared her story of peace and reconciliation. And I was empowered to take action to ensure we do not make the same mistakes of the past, but that we strive for a better future. So for me, the future of this island relies on three principles. Education, inclusion, and unity. We must embed political education into the curriculum so that young people can understand their society, so that they are not afraid of its complexities. If we want young people to care about our social issues, like mental health, poverty, and climate change, then we must teach it to them. We must teach our young people compassion, inclusion, and resilience within our curriculum. And we must create a space for each child to reach their full potential to pursue the common good. As an island and as a people, we need to unite. We need to unite the walls in our minds and those in our divided communities. We need to unite our systems of education, healthcare, and employment and encourage economic prosperity across our island so that we can create a better and equal society for all of the identities living on this island. Finally, young leaders of the world, we need to bring an end to the repetitive and hopeless narratives of modern politics we see in the world. Inspired by the signatories of the Good Friday Agreement, we have an obligation to build on this agreement, not just for Belfast or Ireland, but for the world. There is hope and it begins 
with you and Maddie. Garmin, you might